What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my subscribers. Um, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you already haven't, this is Black Light. Um, the channel is Black Light. I have other videos um, on my channels, other commentaries. Please check them out. Like I said, like the video, subscribe, um, share the channel. Um, today, I'm going to be giving some comments on this thing called SBA, which stands for Foundational Black American. Um, I guess it has to do with lineage. And um, in my opinion, it's a form of tribalism because it's um, causing separation um, inside of the Black body which we see tribalism a lot in Africa, where um, the Africans, they all look the same, look similar, but because of which tribe they, they're in, they separate themselves from um, other groups. Um, they separate themselves um, from each other based off um, of what tribe that they belong to. And I believe that that's what's going on with this uh, FBA because they want to claim based off of your um, lineage, if you can go back and find out that you have ancestry that were part of building um, this con country or whatever, then you're considered an FBA. If you can't take your lineage back then to where um to slavery then you're not fba so that's the separation right there so i'm separating myself from other black people because of their link because of lineage okay the first thing that and you know and this is just my opinion i could be one percent wrong but this is my opinion on this. I know that the people that were brought over to build the United States of America, those were Africans. Africans were on that slave ship and on that boat and captured to come build the United States of America. There were no FBAs. There were no foundational Black Americans on those slave ships or on those slave boats. Those were Africans on those slave ships and on those uh, slave boats. So that's my first um, art with uh, with FBA because they have such smoke against um, Africans and other um, African descent people. But do you fail to realize that the lineage that you're talking about that you're going back to? are Africans is to me FBA it reminds me of like you got that family member that went away to college or went away to school or got a music deal or something to where you know they had a, a, a come up or what other people consider a come up right and so now after they have this come up now for something they're better than their family or they're better than than the people that they grew up around and the people that they they come from okay because my issue with the FBA is is that if you read different comments um and you watch different videos they'll show um they they'll say f africans i don't like africans africans they smell um africans they're ugly they'll say all these negative comments about Africans as if they're not Africans. It's like they forget where they come from. That lineage that you're so proud of and that you're talking about, those are actually Africans. Wasn't no foundation, wasn't no foundational Black Americans. Well, they were the foundational Black Americans, but they were Africans. And then I seen one picture that was very disturbing is they had a picture of an African and then had his hand in a bowl of, in a bowl of rice. Or they'll show pictures of African kids with big stomachs 
and flies. Now that's the same narrative that has been pushed about Africans for forever. That that the the same narrative that the white supremacists try to push to paint a negative light about Africa. That we've all been programmed to have these negative images and, and negative thoughts about Africa as far as the kids with the big stomachs with the flies and that they that they only eat rice and that they're uncivilized and that they don't have homes and that they don't have shelters. And so then to see other people that are supposedly pro-black pushing that same net narrative and then talking down about the very people that they come from, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like it's like you forget who you come from. It's like you forget where you um come from. So it doesn't make sense to me. And then you're pushing the same narrative that the dominant society has pushed about Africans. Like you're upholding that narrative and you're promoting and you're also pushing that um the narrative. Like I don't see how that how that's pro black and 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 how that's right. Africans built United States of America. Africans were the ones put um doing the cotton and working the fields and building the buildings. Now as generations went on, it's like somehow now we want to feel like we're detached from Africans and that we're better than Africans. Like how can black Americans, the so-called FBAs, cut down and put down other black groups and other black races and that's where you come from just because you've been over in this country for so many generations you can't forget where you come from and the people that you come from and i'll say it again the people that was coming over on that boat that was coming here to build the united states of america were africans it was not no foundation of black americans on that um slave ship and on that boat and then I'm also, I've been, another problem I have is I've been doing um, <clears throat> a series called White Lies, True Black Hi History. It's because Africans have been some of the biggest architectures, the most educated people, the people that's come up with the most medicine, um, technology advances, and we don't know that because we've always been showing these images of Africans being uncivilized or being poor and being destitute. So I decided to do this series to show that that's not true and then to see other Blacks pushing this narrative that it is true or to promote that narrative. It's just very um, disheartening, um, to say the least. And then, like, it's just disheartening to see because this schism is causing separation and 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 schism in the um, overall black body. And then we had this idea that <clears throat> black Americans always have this idea that we're always going to be on the top, and that I think that we trust that the United States will always be in the um on the status that um that it's on which puts black Americans at the status that we're on inside the um black body because we're we were enslaved in this country because basically Africans were dropped all over the globe and so which we know so that's why we have some Africans that may have been in somewhere in Spain, which they try to not identify themselves as African. Um, but they were dropped in Spain, so they speak Spanish. They speak Spanish. They're very familiar with Spanish culture. Same way with Africans dropped over in the United States. We speak English. We're very familiar with Western culture and so on and so forth as far as like um, Caribbeans and Jamaicans. We were dispersed everywhere. So it just 
depends on where you landed, um, the culture that you that you were that you are um, influenced by, um, the language that you speak, um, how you dress, and um, a lot of your beliefs. But Black Americans, because we, um, the one that are were dropped over here and this country has become one of the greatest world powers or whatever then with inside the black body that gives us um a kind of a superior status as far as um i guess you could say quality of life or whatever compared to other um african descendant groups around the globe but that doesn't mean it's going to always stay that way africa has the youngest and the fastest growing population. And Africans are going to wake up and realize where they come from. See, that's another thing. They don't really remember where they come from. It's not lies that Africans had the best architecture. If you go back and study, Europeans most of the time were the ones who were sick. Their economies were falling apart. They didn't have advanced technology. Like I just did uh, my first video series um white lies true black history if you want to check that video out but it shows we 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 see that's why they really brought africans to the united states because they seen how we could build the architecture the structures how we were able to build in africa and they knew that we could do that here for them in the united states and also around the, the globe <clears throat> they didn't go get us because we was lazy because we were stupid and, and we didn't know how how to build and because we we didn't know what to do they can't they went and got us because they knew that we did know how to build and because we did know how to create and that we did know how to innovate and we did know how to use technology and so that's what i want us to know about where we where we come from and so that day is going to come back again where Africa is going to do that. So we don't need to detach ourselves and try to downgrade um, Africans, the group, the group of people that we come from, the, the continent that, that we come from. When we come from architectures, when we come from builders, technology, people about education, people about medicine they're going to get back on that again and see we want to be so haughty over here because we think that we're always going to have this top uh, black status that we want to look down and uh, disassociate ourselves with uh, other groups so i just want to say that just because we have this um status now or whatever doesn't mean that it's going to always be that way africa is going to get it together and they're going to realize and remember yeah we know how to build we we they were doing trade and everything before they met europeans they had commerce everything before they met europeans so once you can do it you can do it again and they're going to do it again so that's why I'm not trying to understand like all this um, separation, like with the FBA, they, they forget um, who they come from. They forget that they're Africans, because how can you go make fun of Africans and try to cast them down and say F them and you don't care about them and and, and they smell and, and say all these negative derogatory things about Africans. But those are your people. And that's that's the, the land on which you came off of yourself. So I just I just don't get their their ideology. And another thing I don't get about the FBA is that they're claiming that they don't need leadership, that that they don't need leadership. Any group or any successful anything has to have leadership. It has to has to be someone leading. Even ants know that they have to have leader and that they have to have organization. You can't name one mammal or anything or anything where there's a group where there's not someone in charge where there's not someone leading that there's not someone with agenda giving direction 
and then the group is working to accomplish whatever that agenda or that vision or that goal is. That's just the way um, things work. If not, then you got eight different people, all with eight different ideas, trying to move in eight different directions so you never have cohesion. You You don't have any power. Synergy. There's power and synergy and togetherness. And that's why I just believe in black unity across lines, like cut all that tribalism, we're this, we're this. If you got that 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 skin tone, if you got that melanin um, in you, then it is what it is. Like, I don't need to try to cast you down. I need to welcome you in. And I love, I welcome um, black immigrants into, into this country, right? I love the fact of that because and this don't have nothing to do against um, white people or nothing like that, but um, I'm not going to lie. I would love to see the day if I could, in my lifetime, where the majority of the United States um, was um, black, majority black. Um, I would love to see that. Um, and so by allowing um, other immigrants into the country with uh, the African blood line, with the, the African blood, would help that um, come about quicker. So that's just that's just the way um, I think and actually feel about that. That's why I'm for um, black immigration. And then as far as like the jobs and this and that, poverty poor. See, we want to take the focus off of white supremacy and the systemic racism, and now we want to start to point the finger at each other, which that what which is what we're doing when we say, okay, well these black immigrants are coming over here. They're doing this. The, the black immigrants are coming the black immigrants, the Jamaicans, the Africans. Okay, so now you've been thrown a mirage and now you ain't got a course. Now you're not talking about um, white supremacy. You're not talking about systemic racism. Now you're talking about um, black immigration. And I can tell you right now, um, black immigration is not the bigger issue or the bigger problem when it comes to issues um, inside of the uh, black community within the United States. Like just make that make sense how you take the focus off systemic racism, white supremacy. And now the biggest issue in the black community are other blacks migrating um, to the United States. So that just, that just doesn't make sense. So like I said, the things that um, I'm not agreeing with um, with the FBA movement is the fact that they don't want to have, um, they want to claim that they don't want to have any leadership. Anything has to have leadership. Two, you want to say FBA built the United States of America. No, Africans built, um, were the initial builders of the United States um, of America were Africans. Africans they get off that boat and were put to work. Not no not no foundational on um, Black America. Three. My third thing is is that they're pushing uh, the white supremacist narrative that we all grown up with and that we all been taught that Africans are poor, destitute, and uncivilized, which is absolutely not true. So that's all I can really think of right now. I just want to get on here and make a video because I've just been seeing a lot um, about um, the FBAs and how they're always talking against um, Black immigrants and how they want to cause harm to Black immigrants and how they claim they don't like them when that's the same people that your ass come from. And now all of a sudden, you and got over here to the United States of America and because of the country's status puts you at a higher status inside of the, the overall black body. All right, so now you can thumb your nose down and look down on other blacks that are in the black body, but may not be a part of a country with, um, with as high of a status um, on the globe. 
when you could have easily been dropped off somewhere else. You could easily, your group could have been dropped off in Spain. Your group could have been dropped off in Jamaica. Your group could have been dropped. Your group could have been dropped off in so many other places. It's just a coincidence, or you could call it a blessing if you like, that you were dropped here. Africans were dropped everywhere, and you were dropped here. Just like some were dropped in Spain, so they speak Spanish. They understand those Africans were dropped off in Spain. So they understand Spain culture because that's the culture that's around. They understand how to speak Spanish. Just like Africans dropped here in the United States, we're a part of Western culture and we speak English. So, and as far as with the uh, reparations thing, I already told you how, how I felt about the reparations. If y'all was going to get reparations, y'all was going to... Um, get reparations uh, you got the biggest chance of getting reparations with with the democrats you got democratic president democratic senate democratic house then gave reparations and gave money to other groups inside the country and to groups outside of the country and they haven't done anything for you and like i said before the odds are in your favor for something like that happening when the race of Democrats are in versus uh, the race of Republicans. And so the fact that they not they don't have to tell you, well, they, they had told you too, that they ain't gonna do nothing specifically for black people. But not only have they told you, they also showing you that they not gonna do nothing um, specifically for you. So all this, um, Letting that be like a big cornerstone for the FBA, the fact that we can um, get reparations. And I don't think I've ever really heard any Africans or any Jamaicans or any of those groups even saying that they feel like they deserve reparations um, from the United States. Now, I have heard them protesting in their own country, um, you know, for the same reasons that we have. They, they, been see this is what I understand. Like we all been through the same thing. We all come from the continent. We were all dispersed around. We were all put under um into enslaved, made to work for Europeans to build European empires, right? And now all of a sudden we want to have problems with other groups that you want to take the, the the focus off the root cause of the problem and start pointing fingers at each other. Other people that's been through the exact same thing that you've gone through. Like I said, I haven't heard any of these groups saying that they want to reparations from the United States. I have heard of these groups demanding reparations um, from like uh, the the Queen of, of England, from Britain, and, and from um, other people that they've encountered this, this from their European um, colonizers or slave owners or whatever you want to call them devils whatever the hell you want to call them but um i haven't heard of any africans or anybody else um the groups like that demand reparations from the united states government so I, i'm not even understanding like how that's relevant like saying that you don't qualify you don't qualify you don't qualify i haven't heard any of any groups or anybody saying that um, they expected that and that they um, wanted to um, qualify for that. But I mean, if you really want to look at it at a um, at a broader scale, they use Africans to build the globe and to um, build the world. So um, just let that sink in. And just also let that sink in. They chose us for a reason, and that's because they seen how we were doing building in Africa. I'm telling you, and they want us to do the same thing um, for them, which we did. So, but all this, um, we FBA. It's like y'all forget where y'all come from. Because if you did, if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to say some of the things that you were saying about Africans. And you wouldn't be painting the images and the pictures um, that you have um, about Africans. 
and about other um, so-called non-foundational um, uh, Black Americans or whatever. So, but I don't know. I just want to make a, a small video on that because I'm just seeing and just hearing so much about, oh, we FDA, we FDA, they're not FDA, they're not FDA, we're FDA, we're, it ain't nothing but a bunch of bullshit to cause schism and to take focus off the real issues, which is white supremacy and systematic um, racism. The issue isn't um, Blacks um, migrating um, to the United States. That's not where Black America's um, biggest issues lie. Is our, our biggest issue in Black America is not um, um, Black immigrants. So that's all for now. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Please check out the other videos on my channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much.